Howdy, it's Matt, and in this very quick episode, we are going to be taking a look at the version 2 of the Reptile Sky Shadow. Now, those of you which don't know the story behind the Reptile Sky Shadow is that I was one of the first to get it here in the United Kingdom, uh, and I went out and I hit that wing hard, honestly. Uh, first, uh, we did a line of sight, maiden, everything went hunky-dory-ish. Uh, we did the FPV maiden, I hit a tree. Uh, second FPV flight, we hit dead man's arm. Third flight, we hit dead man's arm again. Uh, and then it all kind of went downhill from there. And I flew it into a tree at a ton. If you've not seen those videos yet, in the top right hand corner, uh, I think it's that side, uh, is a link to the playlist for the Reptile S800. Now, the reason for this video is that they've been and brought out a version two. So have they been and solved? Uh, the tiny little bays on either wing, uh, have they made more room for a battery? What have they done? Have they put better cooling uh, in to the fuselage area? Not entirely sure. We'll be taking a look here together. And I'd also like to stress that that one pre-order is mine. Okay, so keep this in the back of your mind. I've already been and bought this wing and definitely hold off, let's hold off to see if it's actually worth you buying a V2 uh, compared to a V1. Because the V1, it had a few niggles, but it was a tough as old boots wing. And I've been recommending for the last goodness knows how long uh, as a starting wing, uh, the Reptile S800, because it's so tough. Honestly, fly in a tree at a ton, and it still survived. Bit of hot glue, and it was jobs of good so um, it's about the same price as the original, uh, give or take a few dollars. Uh, it's in a grey moulded EPP foam instead of black. Okay, so just kind of very similar to the Mini Drac, those of you uh, which are fam familiar with the Mini Drac. Uh, but the main thing is it's moulded EPP, so it's uh, a much tougher material. And yes, it does weigh more than EPO foam, that white stuff which you're uh, perhaps very used to, but EPP can have take a hit, uh, a moulded EPP, uh, very cool indeed. So uh, we did, we can see that we've got some air vents there on the top uh, of the model itself. So I'm just zooming in a little touch, is that we do have some air vents on top. Again, that was a minor bugbear on the uh, S800. Uh, and then scrolling down again, we can see uh, it for like for like, it's looking pretty much exactly the same. So visually to me, uh, it looks the same except for some slightly different stickers and they're using a uh, gray uh, molded EPP foam instead of black uh, molded EPP foam and they've not put the motor mount on the back. So that reminds me actually, uh, I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna go and buy the motor mount extension block uh, on the back because I really did prefer that on mine, if I'm frankly honest. And I know that uh, in the later versions of the original S800 that they didn't include it in the kits, which frankly speaking, I missed, and I, I was very happy that I did have the extension uh, on the back. So, yeah, looking at it to me, this looks exactly the same uh, in all shape and form. Am I missing anything? Am I the only one just looking at this going, looks just like a Reptile S800? Uh, if I'm wrong, if you've spotted something, please do let me know uh, in the comments section uh, underneath this video. And again, the, the battery bays look exactly the same and they've used some tape on the bottom. The spars are in the same place as well. Uh, so maybe it's in the description in the useless back, which we just, well, I just throw away to be honest. Uh, let's have a quick look on there. Upgraded V2 version with improved fuselage material hardness. I didn't actually think it was a serious issue with the center section. I, I know the nose did take a whack, but then I did hit a couple of trees with it. So uh, maybe they've improved the hardness uh, in there. Uh, and there's some other bits and bobs and it goes into the rest of the details. Uh, the decal is gray, not red. Uh, so it looks like we got some gray decals uh, which come with the model. So uh, I wanna give you an early heads up. I've been and bought one of these. Like I said, I was the first pre-order. Uh, on this page and we will find out what they are like well as long as it takes for Banggood to ship it to us it is 
uh, on pre-order. Uh, and do keep in the back of your mind, as with all models which you see here, uh, is that they are bought out of my own money. Uh, and we always hold off final judgment on what these wings are going to be like uh, until we actually get them up into the sky. So on that note, uh, the links to this are in the video description. It is an affiliate link, so if you do use it and go on to make a purchase, you will be supporting this channel, something which I like to be 100% clear about. So with that said, can you see anything different compared to the original Sky Shadow? Have I missed anything? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section underneath this video. I'd really value your feedback because Upgraded, fuse, upgraded fuselage, what does that mean? Is it better just to go with a V1 or do we go for a V2? Just because the number's higher doesn't mean it's better. Hey, we're gonna find out very, very shortly. So with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode and I'll see you again shortly uh, and hopefully within two weeks, maybe a little bit more, uh, with one of these as well on the doorstep. So on that note, for myself, Matt, cheerios.